Hi guys, welcome back to this scented corner of the internet. Today I thought that I would do a quick review of the new Creed Viking Cologne. So the Cologne version of Creed Viking. Let's see if this is how a Viking should smell. All of these thoughts are my own and entirely my own only. Creed Viking Cologne is a brand new release from Creed. It's so fresh that it's just being put out onto the shelves of the stores right now as we speak. So I'm quite proud of myself for managing to get a little sample. <laughs> so I imagine that it would be a fresher take on the original Creed Viking, which I actually do have. And I actually don't mind. I actually enjoy this fragrance. I wear this um, as a nice day scent. I wear this as a nice office scent. Well, office at home for the time being. And I don't have a problem with the scent at all. This was released in 2017. This one I imagine to be, you know, fresher, more citrusy and all of that. And the fragrance is exactly that. It is more citrusy, but it smells not real. You know, it doesn't smell like real citruses. It smells like fake citruses to my nose. It starts off with a blast of that. So fake citruses. And then it goes into toilet wash territory. So fresh citruses, uh, then citrusy toilet wash. And I mean, I can just show you my notes. These are the notes of when I was trying the fragrance. And I wrote fake citruses, toilet wash quality, toilet wash, toilet wash, toilet wash. It's one of those scents that then turns out smelling like every other scent that's on the market pretty much. I still have it on my arm over here. I wish I could scrub it off. So yes, it ends up smelling like pretty much a lot of current fragrances that come out having the cologne tag on them, the Cologne name. This could possibly make some bros out there happy. I'm, I'm not really sure, but does this smell like a high quality perfume? No, I would not say so. Uh, towards the dry down, it gets slightly better. I mean, I feel like the beginning of the fragrance is the worst part. It slightly gets better towards the dry down um, where you get a little bit of that old Viking DNA, but it's like a teaspoonful of that and then like a gallon of the <laughs> citrusy toilet wash again. But this is just my opinion and um, it could be that you enjoy Creed Viking Cologne. I would, for the time being, just recommend that you stick to the regular Viking if you do like the scent profile. There are also a lot of people who don't even like this one. For me personally, I enjoy it because it has a lot of pepper in it and I'm a sucker for peppery scents. Uh, so a lot of pink pepper. Um, I'm not sure if this is how Viking smelled or would have chosen to smell. <laughs> I kind of feel like the name is a little bit misleading. I mean, when I think Viking, I would think you know, strong, woody, um, all of that. But this is not a strong presence fragrance, I would say. This is perfectly unisex. I wear this with no problems whatsoever. Hold on, let me show you what a Viking might have smelled like. I feel like a Viking would smell more like this, you know, Bohemian by Sweetoft. This starts out with oud, like oud in the opening. Like, wow. So this is a crazy fragrance. This is absolutely daring not for the faint of heart not for everybody but this is more of what a viking would smell like to me than this soapy peppery scent <laughs> just saying if you're looking for that effect this was also created by swedes so whereas this was created by the creed french people <sighs> yeah my danish side is just not satisfied with the marketing of this one but like i said um it's, an, it's a nice scent. It's a good go-to day scent. I wouldn't say that it's, you know, the most amazing fragrant art, but that's okay. You don't always need that. And if you like a peppery scent, that one's a good one. The new Creed Viking Cologne, I would recommend to not even bother, you know, but that's just me. So thank you for watching this quick review today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more of these like Spitfire round reviews with my thoughts, you know, uh, then just let me know. Longevity wise for this, I would say is three, four hours. I've had this on for about that amount and it's become quite faint. I would say that the sillage is probably quite strong at the beginning. I mean, it has a strong sillage for about an hour or so and then 
yeah, lasts about three, four hours. So, <laughs> so there you go, performance wise. Please leave me a comment below with your thoughts on Creed Viking. Creed, let me have the whole spiel <laughs> on Creed. I know that some people, it's like a love or hate brand. So let me know down below and I will see you in my next video.